Hey friends, so today we have a pretty simple project that I'm gonna teach you how to do. We are gonna make our own storybooks, okay? So when I was little, and even now, um, I love writing stories. I've, I always love writing stories. It's something that I have really a lot of fun doing, and it's really easy to do. So all you're gonna need is some paper, a pen or pencil, and some crayons, okay? So yeah, we could just make a normal storybook and just write in the pages and color. That's a lot of fun. But if you're like me, I like to make things a little silly and also um, make things kind of into a game. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your papers and you're gonna rip it into pieces. But make sure the pieces are big enough to where you could still write on them. So I just ripped a piece like this and then I'm gonna rip it into smaller pieces. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is on these pieces of paper, we're gonna write characters that can be in the book. We're gonna write um, actions, like things you can do. So you can jump, you can run, you can cook. Um, what other things can you do? Swim, ride a bike, um, anything that you can do or anyone else can do, it doesn't have to be something specifically you, um, you're gonna write it on a piece of paper. So you're gonna write characters, you're gonna write actions, and you're gonna write places. Okay, so all three of those things on piece of paper. So if I'm gonna write a character, I might write a princess. Okay, so I wrote a princess on my piece of paper. On a new piece of paper, I might write eats. Okay. And on my other piece of paper, I might write um, ocean. That's a place, right? You can go to the ocean. And I forgot one other thing, object. Okay. So it can be anything you can see or feel. Okay. So something that I can see or feel. Well, I see elephants sometimes when I go to the zoo. So I'm gonna put elephant. So once you have these pieces of paper, you're gonna make different piles, okay? So this is the one that says princess, so that's one pile. This is the action, that's another pile. Then I have my object, remember, something that I can see or feel, elephant. And my last one, which is a place, ocean. So I have four piles in front of me, okay? And I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna think of maybe 10 characters, 10 things you can do, 10 objects, and 10 places. And I'm gonna make a pile, okay? So why don't you go ahead and get started with that, and I'm gonna make mine, and then we will come back in just a second. Okay, so now you've created your 10 pieces of paper that have characters on them, and I need you to put them in a bag. 10 characters in a bag. Then you're gonna do 10 action words and put them in a bag. 10 objects, things you can see or feel, and put them in a bag. And 10 places, and put them in a bag. So now you have four bags. These are gonna be how you get your ideas for your story. You need to get five pieces of blank white paper and you're gonna fold them in half hamburger style, okay? So once you fold it, you can staple along the fold so that way you can make your book. Now, we're gonna make the cover. In order to make the cover, we have to have a title. So let's see what our book's gonna be about. So you're gonna take your first bag, the bag of characters, and you're gonna mix it up, not gonna look. You're gonna pick a random piece of paper out. So I got a cat. So my story is about a cat. Then you're gonna take your actions and you're gonna mix it up and you're gonna pick a random action, a cat that jumps. I'm gonna get an object and I'm gonna pick a random object. Toilet, a cat that jumps, something about a toilet. And then we're gonna pick a place. Our place is the castle. So a cat, my story is about a cat that jumps in the toilet at the castle. 
That is super silly. So what I'm gonna wanna do is I need to write my title on my book and I need to decorate my page. So my page is gonna look exactly what my sentence says, right? A cat that jumps into a toilet at the castle. So go ahead and get started on your title page on your cover of your book and then we'll come back in just a second. Okay, so you've gotten your title, probably a really silly one like the one I got, and you wrote it on your cover, and then you drew your picture. So yours is gonna look so much better than mine, but here is my cover. So it's a cat that jumped into a toilet at the castle. That is the name of my story. You can see my castle and the toilet, and there's a cat inside the toilet. So now what you can do is you can open your book and you can make a story about why the cat jumped in the toilet or whatever happened in your title. So for example, my story is gonna be about a cat that got really scared because he saw a dragon in the castle and so he ran and the only place he could hide was in the toilet. So I'm gonna make my book about that. And then if I get stuck and I need an idea, what I can do is I can pick from my bags of ideas. So maybe instead of my cat being scared, maybe I don't know what happened to my cat. So I'm gonna pick a character. So let's see, let's pick a new character. A mermaid. Okay, so now a mermaid's coming into my story. A mermaid did something. What did the mermaid do? I got my actions. A mermaid eats, oh boy, okay. Now I get my, my objects, things that I can see or feel. A flower. So the mermaid eats a flower at where? Get my places and at the store. So a mermaid eats a flower at the store and somehow that makes my cat jump into the toilet in the castle. So you can use these to help you create ideas for your story. Um, so if you don't like the idea, you don't have to do it. You can pick your own idea. But that was just a way to get your mind thinking about how your story can go and how you can get creative with it, okay? So every single page that you do, you can write your sentences at the top or at the bottom, and then you draw your picture that goes along with the story. And when you're all done, you'll have a great book that you can share with your mom and dad, brothers and sisters, and it might be a little silly, so it might be a fun one that you can read, just if you wanna have a little bit of a laugh. Um, so, you guys go ahead and have fun with this project. I would love to see the books that you guys make. Maybe on Friday when we do our Zoom meeting, you guys can show us some of your stories. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Good luck with this project. Have fun.